NASA to opportunity. Do you receive? Power is down to 22 watts. Over. NASA to opportunity. Do you receive? Registering just 0.1% sunlight. Over. Copy. Please wake up. Due to a record-breaking global-scale dust storm that enveloped Mars in 2018, NASA lost contact with its Opportunity rover. Launched in the summer of 2003, the hardy little robot survived for over 14 years after it was designed to last just 90 Martian days. The last messages NASA received from the rover basically translated to, My battery is low and it's getting dark. Opportunity was launched with a twin rover named Spirit, which had stopped contacting NASA in 2010 after becoming trapped in a sand dune at such an angle it had trouble charging its solar panels. The rovers were designed to enter hibernation mode if the power became too low, saving just enough power to keep the clock running and periodically waking up to check the power level, before going back to sleep if the power was still too low. NASA scientists held hope that once the dust storm had cleared, Martian winds would remove the dust from its solar panels and allow opportunity to recharge, as this had happened before. The worry was that the power had dipped so low, Opportunity's clock could not even tell the time, therefore couldn't prompt it to wake up and check the power levels. The Martian winter was also closing in, and with Opportunity unable to activate its nighttime heating system, the blisteringly cold temperatures of Mars could essentially freeze the rover to death. After months of trying and failing to contact Opportunity in the usual way, and with time growing short, NASA decided to attempt a series of high-risk, last-ditch efforts to save Opportunity. I'm your host, Alan, and you're watching Elder Fox. A primary rule of troubleshooting an ailing rover is, do not touch the spacecraft clock. The clock on board Opportunity was responsible for prompting when it should wake up during the Martian day and when it should sleep. However, with the possibility that the power had gotten so low the clock had switched off, NASA believed Opportunity's clock could be similar to an alarm clock, perpetually blinking 12 a.m. after a power cut. After taking the drastic measure of resetting the clock, NASA scientists were disheartened when they didn't receive a response. The dust storm had cleared and NASA even had a visual on opportunity from its orbiting spacecraft. The windy season was coming to an end, diluting any hopes that the wind would help to clear its solar panels. With winter closing in, time was growing short. Another possible cause of Opportunity's silence was thought to have been a problem with its radio antennae. The rover had two such antennae, one for direct contact with Earth and one for contact with orbiting spacecraft. NASA tried forcing Opportunity to contact orbiting spacecraft rather than directly with Earth. Unfortunately, the rover remained silent. And enough is what was decided. In February 2019, an official end to the mission was declared. Dr. Tanya Harrison, who worked on the mission, tweeted, spent the evening at JPL as the last ever commands were sent to the Opportunity rover on Mars. There was silence. There were tears, there were hugs, there were memories and laughs shared. Thank you, Oppie. Good night, Oppie. 
Professor Andrew Coates, a planetary scientist at London's Mullard Space Science Laboratory, said shortly after the announcement, it is a matter of both celebration for what it was able to achieve and in the broad context of Mars exploration, but also tinged with sadness, losing an old friend. There is no doubt that the Opportunity mission was one of NASA's most successful. The Hardy rover covered a distance of over 45 kilometers, more than all the other Mars rovers combined. At the very beginning of its mission, it discovered an interesting rock that Opportunity almost thought was the Martian sky, as it was so reflective. Upon further investigation, the rock was found to be a Martian meteorite, the first meteorite ever discovered on another planet. Within the first few months, Opportunity discovered large amounts of rounded blue rocks, which NASA nicknamed blueberries. This was a jackpot for planetary scientists, as the rocks contained the minerals hematite and gerosite, which only form when rocks are exposed to acidic water. By finding so many of these rocks, Opportunity proved that Mars once had abundant surface water. If this wasn't enough, Opportunity found these so-called blueberries throughout its 45-kilometer journey and made a series of even more interesting discoveries. This image, named Burns Cliff, yields huge signs of Mars' watery past. The layers of rock you can see were formed over time, some laid down in watery periods, others in dry periods. Due to the minerals that have been found, scientists believe this water would have been salty and acidic, not the best kind of water for life as we know it. However, when Opportunity reached Endeavour Crater towards the end of its mission, a shocking discovery was made. Opportunity found the first signs that non-acidic fresh water once existed on Mars, and there was a lot of it. The walls of the Endeavour Crater hold abundances of clay that only form in neutral pH water. Furthermore, this water is conducive to life. These discoveries have revolutionized our understanding of the Red Planet, and specifically its past as a watery world similar to Earth. Now, 16 years after the launch of Opportunity and many discoveries later, how can we best remember the little rover? Pictures. NASA has thousands of high-quality pictures taken by Opportunity. Each image tells a story and scientists have studied each one extensively. And the best part is that you can explore these images for yourself. Head to the link in the description which will take you to the NASA website. Search for Panorama and you will find lots of high-quality images.